What's up? It's your boy Dragon back here with another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make screaming overlays. Now, if you watch my channel, you probably know that I made plenty of tutorials on this, but these are what the overlays will be looking like. So, this is going to be raw and uncut video. So, with all that being said, let's get straight into it. First thing you want to do is open up Cinema 4D. I'm going to let this load up. And once again, I said it's going to be raw and uncut. Basically what this means, I'm not skimming through nothing. I'm just putting y'all on everything. So when you get in here, you want to go file and then you go to open. This light room is going to be in the comment section or the description, most likely comment section. So a lot of people have trouble with this. Um, This is the font right here. And this is the text. This is how you change the text. Happy. And then you go over here. I'm doing one for Euro. So simply going to put Euro. Just like that. And then you can take off the uh, wrap. Now, if you don't like this, I usually like changing my font, but I use this font right here. So I do Euro, and then you can simply render it like this right here. I'm gonna let this render. It shouldn't take that long. This is a different light room that I use for my other light rooms. So once again, I'm gonna say that this video is raw and uncut. But in the comment section, I'm going to put, like, different parts of the video in the comment. This is going to be, like, a three-part video, but in the same video. All right, so now that we got this, we can go to Photoshop. File, and then you hit New. You want to hit 1280 by 720. And now you can go to File, and then Open, and then you can go get your box. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So I'm going to just get the overlay, and this is in my pack. I will put the pack in the description. Now you want to go to File again and Open. And you want to go get the this file right here. So if this doesn't work, you can just click this, hit OK, and then you can save it. I'm going to just save it as Euro uh, 3. All right, so I'm going to go back here, and now you have it. So you want to bring this over. Simply, you can make this smaller by doing this. And just make sure you center the text like so. And I always put my text like that. So this is the tool that I use to move it. And if this doesn't show, that means you don't have your transform controls on. You turn them off and on like that. So next thing I'm gonna do is get this box and hold shift while uh, pulling on these edges with this tool. And that's how I do that to my to my box. So I do that, and then now I will hold shift to the sides to make it like this. All right. Now that I've done this to the size and everything, um, next thing I will do is do Twitter and Twitch. So now I want to go to File, and then I want to go to GFS Pack, Recycle Pack, 2K Logos, and then Twitch and Twitter. Now you can hit Control and C to bring this over here, and then hit Control V, because that means you're pasting it. Hit Control C on Twitch, bring it over here, Control and V to bring it and paste it. So... Now we got this, we want to make sure these socials are the same size. So we'll simply do something like this. Now that we do this, we hit control and grab both of them. And we make them smaller with this tool right here. You can drag them over. And if you want to drag them over in a straight line, hold shift while dragging them. And it will drag them in a straight line. So now I will make them smaller a little bit more. Hold shift while dragging them so it can go in a straight line. All right, now I will hold, I will click on my Twitch uh, logo, logo, hold shift, and then bring this all the way over here like so, and everything should align up. Next thing I will do is go to my horizontal text tool. Don't use any other one but horizontal, and I will type a letter. All right, so I'm going to make this smaller with this tool right here, and just by pulling on the sides, and... The font that I'm using, I will either put it on screen, but it will show this is the font right here. All right. So now that I have that, to get their Twitter, what I do is I just go on their Twitter and then copy it, come over to Photoshop, and simply like this, I just paste it. So now that I do that, I make it smaller with this tool and just drag the edges. And I just kind of let everything align up like so. And I usually just use my little arrow keys to kind of fit it how I want to, which is would be something like that. So now you want to hit Control J so you can duplicate the text, hold Shift, and then while holding Shift, just drag it all the way over here. 
All right, so now that you got something like this, you might need to burn the text up a little bit. I mean, you will have to burn the text up over here, but it shouldn't be an issue. So, all right. You just want to make sure everything is aligned. All right, so now that everything is aligned, the Euro 2K we got over there, we just wanted to go over here and he put his Twitch. So, we're just going to copy this, uh, copy the Twitch like so, come over here, and then paste it. Now that I paste it, it's that simple and make sure everything is aligned. If it is aligned, it will tell you. We can just drag it back and it will show us. So everything is aligned. Next thing I would do is put the color blue. So I go to hue and saturation, colorize, and then go to the color blue, like so. And let me see. Go to blue like this. And then you want to hit control J again. So you want to hit it two times. I'm going to show you guys why. So you want to hold uh, shift, so you got the first hue and saturation, hold shift, go all the way down here. When you hold shift and you click all the way to the bottom, while still holding shift, it will select all the layers. What that allows you to do is hit control E. So now that you have done this, what you can do now is go over here and actually merge down. Now I did merge the wrong layer. But I'm going to show you guys fix my mistake because this is wrong. Okay. So to make the Twitter logo look better because when you switch your color, it's not going to look that good. You can just put it on normal and then kind of put it to the color that is on the other social. I'm about to show you guys. So you have something like this. So you want to hold shift and then click the bottom one. Hit control E. Now that you got this, you just want to bring this other hue saturation. This is why I made two. Merge this down and boom. So now you can just delete this bottom layer. You can hit the delete key, or you can actually hit trash can, or you can simply right click on it and go delete it. I'm gonna just hit the delete key. So now I hit control and S to save this just in case I have any complications later. And I do have a file for my overlays, but to get the video done quicker, I would do it like this. So now we can hit Euro, like so. And I'm gonna say Euro overlay. All right. So next step, we want to go to Adobe After Effects. A little long, eight minutes. I'm kind of throwing a raw and uncut speed running the video for an overlay, if that even makes sense. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm going to wait for this to load up. All right, so this part, I'm going to go slow because this is going to be the harder part. You can slow the other parts down, but this right here, you're going to have to understand. So make sure you copy all these settings on my screen. If it doesn't work, it might be because of the settings. You want to hit OK. Now you want to go to File, Import, and then hit File again. You can't mess this part up. Please just slow the video down if you have to. You want to import this and hit OK. Make sure you have this stuff selected because this stuff can mess you up also. So once you hit OK, should be a group waiting on you if you did everything right from previous. But just hit control to and hold control and select every layer so you can select all of them and drag them down simply. So now what we want to do is put this layer right here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna tell y'all straight like this. Make sure the box is the bottom layer. Make sure the socials is the top layer. And then like a sandwich, you want to make sure that the text is in the middle of both of those layers. So now you want to hold control and click the bottom one also. So you got the box and the 3D text that we should have. You should not mess with the socials at all. So you want to hold control and D. This is going to duplicate these layers. So if you get confused, these are the two boxes and these are the two 3D text. And I will show you guys why I did this. So you want to hold control once again, hold control and click the box and hold control and click the 3D text. Now you want to hit effect, not effect. Well, you want to hit layer and go to auto trace. Click, uh, okay, don't click that. Go to layer, auto trace. Make sure all of this is selected. If it's not, that means you probably messed with it previously, but this should be automatic. So you just want to hit okay. I mean, it should already be there. Now you want to go to Saber to type this in. You will have to have video copilot Saber effect. I will put that in the description if it's not already in there, and I will put it in the comment section. Drag this over. And then go render settings, transparent, customized core, layer mask, and then preset art reactor. If you need me to do it again, I will do it again. I just have to cut this. You want to drag this over, saber, 
render settings, transparent, customized core, layer mask, and then art reactor. If you get any of these steps wrong, it can easily mess this stuff up. So now you just want to get the color of this. Now, as you can see on this Lightroom, my color is not that dark. What I would have made it better if I went to Photoshop and did color overlay like this right here. Simply show you guys just in case you want to do that. Color overlay, put on overlay, and then kind of mess with it. You see how the color is more definite than that. But it's all good because I'm going to make mine with a different Lightroom just for practice. So since you have this, um, I'm going to just choose this right here as my color. All right, so you now that you have that, you can copy this. And then we put the saber on this layer and that layer. And you'll be able to tell because it will have a line across it, meaning that we auto-traced it. So you want to hit Effect, Saber, and then you could just simply paste this. Now, I paste mine, but if you want to recreate yours for those, like, you can. But I simply just paste mine. So we have this, we have this, and both of them have the saber effect. Now, this is not my best work with the overlays, but I'm just showing you guys how to make them. So now you want to go to export and then you want to add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. If you need this, DM me on Twitter or I will just put the link to the 2020 version in my description, bro. Tell y'all, raw and uncut. This is where they're right here. So I'm waiting for this to load up and I'm going to show you guys what to do. All right. So these should be your settings. You never want to get the settings wrong. You can click on this to change it. Make sure it's quick time. I'm going to give y'all a quick tip. Anything with quick time, you cannot open on Windows. If you find a way to do it, you find a way. But it's like for most Windows, you cannot open a quick time file because that is for MacBook. So if your client tell you that he can't open it or something wrong with the overlay, it might be him because you still can open quick time on OBS. Same thing with this. Nothing is wrong with this. Make sure you have this setting right here. This is what I use to do my overlays. And then... If you have those settings, we are ready to render. I always render in Media Encoder, nothing else. These files are way, they not bigger. They not big as if you render something else, basically what I'm saying. So click on this right here. And I like to name my uh, Euro No CC because this is what I named it before. We have No CC Light. It's the only part of the video that's not going to be wrong or cut because I simply have to speed this up. But you want to hit this to start queue. And yeah do that and I'll be back with you guys when that is done I right, man as y'all can see we coming to an end with this little uh this this first part of the rendering by the way if you thought this video was over you mistaken but um yeah we're gonna let this get done I'm gonna show you guys the next step you feel me and this raw and uncut so I ain't finna skip I got I gotta show y'all because too many people been hitting me up man all right we done encoding now you should hear a little ding, but my junk ain't ring, so y'all should be all right. So, um, yeah, we done with it. We're going to go back, file, close project. Don't say it. New composition, copy these settings. Okay. Uh, file, import, file, uh, euro, no CC. Boom. Bring that more again, just like that. All right, go fix and preset. CC light. Alright, CC light sweet. Yes, sir. You want to bring this all the way over. But pay attention on this part now because you probably ain't paying attention. But pay attention. Alright, so you see what I just did? I just dragged this over. Now, your default going to be 640. You want to drag this to the right. Alright, now I'm going to have that light right there. You want to click this. Click center because this is where people get confused. Click center and hit U on your keyboard one time. Drag this over to five seconds. Bring this all the way back over, just like that. Go to 10 seconds, like so. Bring this all the way over, just like that, bro. Just simple. Easy peasy, man. Bring it around, okay? Now, you want to go to 15. Bring it back over, just like this. If you need to slow down the video, slow it down. You feel me? So, we go human saturation on uh, effects and presets, right? We gonna drag this over, drag it onto the euro thing. Don't drag it nowhere else, but to where I just dragged it. You wanna bring this 15 seconds all the way back, right there. You wanna click on channel range, click on this little timer clock and channel range on human saturation. Hit you one time, then hit you another time. That's all the times you need to hit it for. Now drag this 
all the way over to 15 seconds, bruh. Drag this little master hue. This is this little clock. It's going to say zero. Then that right there. Drag this all the way around town. Drag it in a circle. Yeah, just like that. And you want to leave it at one zero. Now drag this baby cross. And it's going to be changing color. Just like that, man. Now, this is it for the tutorial. But I'm going to show you guys how to render. Because I just put y'all on. You want to go to file. Export. Add to media encoder Q. Okay? That's how we doing it. We should already have this open if we didn't close it. Have the same setting, quick time, and then this right here. Okay? You want to get this? All right. And now you can go back here. The way I like to do it, don't replace this because it will mess up your file. And you can see what I just did. I clicked on this, and it brought me here, and I went to download. Nothing crazy. You feel me? Euro CC, uh, I just take the note out of it and then put CC because it has CC light now. Uh, see, the only thing I did was change the game, change the name, and fix the file location. Well, that's the only thing that that does because you can still render it, but you have to look for the file. So I suggest changing the file location and change the name and stuff, all that. So you want to hit the little play button. You feel me? The button that looks like the YouTube diamond play button. This button. And your junk should be rendering. You can see it down here with a little preview or whatever looking real sexy. You, you can see the file name, the path. It'll tell you where to go. The format. And then the preset. The video if you want to get into all this stuff right there. I don't know all that. But yeah. We're going to let this. And then I'm going to show you guys it actually working in OBS itself. Now, I'm going to be honest, bro. You can follow this tutorial. I don't know what else I can do for you, man. Because this is raw and uncut. I didn't skip nothing. Great. Simple, man. Simple. But um, I appreciate everybody that been supporting my channel, man. Real talk. But I'm going um, to go to OBS. Hit the plus button. Media source. Okay. Hit loop. Browse, man. You got to browse. We're going to go to download. We're going to hit Euro CC. Okay, now we got the overlay. Y'all liking the way that look, don't it? Let it run real smooth. That's the overlay right there. Let me give a little bit black background so I can show y'all. This is the overlay. Now, I'm going to do a better version, obviously, because I ain't have my Lightroom on me. I ain't have the right Lightroom. I wanted to put y'all along with this Lightroom that you can get for free. But this is the changing colors, man. All this, it go through every color. Um, Yeah, and y'all going to get better as y'all do it. You feel me? And one thing, one tip before I do any video, I'm going to tell y'all again about this QuickTime file. The QuickTime file, you will not be able to view it for yourself if you are on Windows. So if your client tell you, oh, man, I can't view this, man, what you did with my file, he try to get crazy with you, just be like, you can't view it, but you can put it in OBS. So if you know everything you need, you click on the video. Appreciate y'all coming through, watching the video. I'm going to end this recording right here. And if this help you out, drop a like, subscribe, share it to your friend. And yeah, man, peace out. Appreciate all support.